Hey everyone, it's Julie. So I've always had terrible internet and if you've seen my last video, you already kind of get the gist and seen an example of what I go through on a daily basis. Lately, it's just almost unbearable. But what really pushed me over the edge is this fuckery. So I recently bought and installed H1Z1 for my PC. And while I was trying to play with my friend Zephyr, I just could not get into the game. Like, number one, my game wouldn't load fast enough. Two, when it finally did, I couldn't get into a match. Like, it was on the loading screen forever, and then it would just kick me out of the game. Zephyr, being an IT guy, tried to help me out over Skype by optimizing the game for my PC because I have an i3 and that game's usually for an i5 to i7, but it's still playable on i3. So even after we did that, it did load faster just to like start the game itself. But when I tried to go on a server online, like same thing, nothing worked. I was dropping tons of frames and I could maybe get into one out of 15 matches. So the next day I wake up and the internet is so slow. My home page wouldn't even load. So just to make sure, I connected my phone to the Wi-Fi to see if I could get good internet or if it was just my computer that was fucking up. And nothing was loading. Instagram, tweets, Facebook, but it said I was connected to the Wi-Fi. So, so naturally, someone like me who has had this problem countless times, I unplugged the router and then the modem and then waited and unplugged in the modem and then the router, nothing changed. So I had to call Charter. I hate calling Charter. But nevertheless, I called, got the machine, and the machine told me to do exactly what I just fucking did. And it took a while, but finally I was passed to an agent who told me to do the exact same thing again. Then he refreshed the signal from his end, and voila, suddenly the internet was back. And it was working at the normal speed that I usually have, which is 19 megabits per second download, five upload. We'll get to that later. So a few hours later, the internet kept going on and off again. So Zephyr set me up with his friend Preet. And she specializes in internet connection, like optimizing your Wi-Fi and telling you what the best equipment is that you can get to have the best speeds. She's an angel. Like She helped me realize that my internet extender was actually on the wrong circuit. It should be connected to my room, but it's connected to the garage. So the signal to my room would be bad anyways. She also told me what cords to get, like the best I can get for the best price. And she helped me optimize my Wi-Fi. So with the help she gave me, I got my download speed to 28 megabits per second. Still not a lot, but we'll get to that later again. And five upload. Uploads usually around that for our plan. So that night, the internet went out again. But it was a Friday night and I work at a bar and I had to get to work already or I was gonna be late. I didn't have time to call Charter again or fuck around with the modem or router. So I was hoping that by the time I get out of work, the internet would suddenly come back on the way it always does because of its unstable fuckery. The next morning I wake up and the internet was back on. But again, it was super slow. So I call up Charter again. I get the machine again. Get passed to an agent again. Who tells me to unplug my shit again? After all that, the girl tells me to run the speed test. And the second I open my Google Chrome, poof, the internet's gone. So I tell her this and she's like, can you test it from your phone? So I tried to connect my phone to the Wi-Fi and it wouldn't connect. So I was like, um, no, I can't connect the Wi-Fi to my phone. The internet seems to be totally out right now. Well, can you test it from another source? Mind you, this is about 30 to 40 minutes into the phone call and I've been super patient and super nice. Because as someone who's worked in customer service for a while now, I don't want to be that bitch that ruins your day and I don't want to be that bitch that you talk shit about. So I told her, nothing will connect to my internet to check. Well, your router is responding and your modem is fine. Everything looks fine on our end. Well, something's wrong on my end. A moment later, my internet comes back. After a minute, we let my internet settle into my computer or whatever the fuck happens. Uh, she told me to take a speed test again, so I did. And I got to the speed test and started the downloading speed and it was like about halfway through. I got 1.12 megabits per second. Then the test just times out. It stops in the middle of the download speed, doesn't even try to go for the upload speed and gives me an error message saying that they cannot finish the test. So I tell her like, oh, the test timed out, I can't finish it. So she was like, okay, we'll go to charterspeedtest.net. It'll be a lot more accurate. So I was like, okay, whatever. So the page takes a long time to load. And finally, when it does, I begin the test and about like a quarter of the way to download, it stops again, but it stops at 0 0.21 megabits per second. Kill me now! 
So I tell her I got another error message and I stopped at 0 0.21 megabits per second. So she's like, okay, we'll try it again. So I tried again and this time it stops during download again, but at 0 0.18 megabits per second error message. So she asked me what my download speed was and I said, well, I got 0 0.18 megabits per second before it stopped and just decided not to work anymore. It was quiet for a little bit and we kind of both were just like, you know, it's a, kind of like an awkward tension. And she was like, okay, well, I'm going to get my supervisor to come check it out. And I was like, thank God, because I need a fucking higher power or something. So I'm on hold for a few minutes. And then she asks, uh, what was your download speed again? Try not to kill anyone. My supervisor says everything looks fine to her as well. There are no problems detected. Your router and your modem are responding perfectly. And we're seeing that you're getting 100.5 megabits per second download and 5.48 seconds upload. Oh shit! Oh shit! Oh shit! And I was like, well, obviously that's not happening here. And she was like, well, I can send you an email about slow internet speeds. Okay. Really, nigga? So then she's typing up my email and she's like, okay, well, I just sent it. And she starts to do her outro. And is there anything else that I can help you with today, Miss Castro? Anything else? Anything else? Anything else? Whoa, lady. I still don't have acceptable internet connection. We pay $118 a month for Spectrum Ultra Internet. That's supposed to be 100 megabits per second download. And I can't even get one whole megabit. Not one. Let alone finish a speed test. And you're just going to try and send me off with a shit email about slow internet speeds to solve my problem? To shut me up? Are you serious? Like, I wouldn't spend my entire Saturday afternoon on the phone with you if I had an internet connection. I have better shit to do. So we were silent for a little bit. There was tension. She could tell I was pissed, and I could tell that if I was talking, it wouldn't be nice. So finally, she says, okay, well, we can try and send a tech out to you tomorrow, but you're going to have to pay for the visit of the tech if nothing comes out wrong. Okay, if I wasn't pissed before, now I'm pissed because this bitch thinks I'm lying. Just send him. I'm not paying for shit. Watch. So I woke up the next morning, and the tech was already there. My mom showed him where everything was. Honestly, I'm surprised they sent someone out on a Sunday morning. So he had this white remote thing and he was pressing buttons on it, pointing it at our modem and router and shit. No idea what it was, but when he got out his phone to take a speed test on the app, he magically got 40 megabits per second. And I've never, I'm not, I haven't been close to that. So he asked what our plan was and what we were paying for. So I told him we were paying for a Spectrum Ultra. So he calls just to make sure that that's what we're paying for. And he was like, yeah, you definitely have that plan. And I'm just like, no shit. He's like, I'm next to the router and I reset the signal and you're not even getting half that speed. So he goes and he like picks up the router and the modem and like kind of studies it, checking it out for a little bit. And he does this. <laughs> and I'm like, what? What's up? And he says, this isn't even the right modem. This modem isn't even capable of giving you that speed. When did you guys get this? We moved in last January, the very beginning of the month, and that's when we got internet connected to our house and we upgraded to Spectrum Ultra. So, one fucking year. They set us up with this. So he said he's gonna have to replace the modem and get the right one, which he didn't have in his truck, but one of his colleagues that was working at a house nearby did, so he went to go pick it up. At this point, my cheeks are burning because I'm fucking pissed. They set us up with a modem that can't even do what we were paying for, for one year. So he came back and set up the new modem and ran the speed test again. So this time he got 68 megabits per second, which still isn't relatively close to 100 megabits per second. So he was looking at the router and he was like, yeah, I'm going to have to change this out too. So he replaces the router too and finally we get 100 megabits per second. Never, ever, ever, ever had speed like that, ever. Bitch thought it was going to have to be. The tech guy was really cool, like I'm happy with the service he gave us. But what the fuck is going on at Charter Headquarters or wherever the hell they are? Like how the hell were they reading that everything was fine on their end? Like how does that work? Because I want to know. I have no clue how that would even be accurate. Obviously it's not accurate. It sucks because I even had to like 
be rude and complain to this lady to be offered a tech. Like, she should have offered me a tech when we were all quiet and tense and shit. Like, she should have been like, okay, well, obviously I can't solve the problem. There must be something going on. Let me offer a tech to this girl. No. She was just like, okay, I'll send you a fucking email. Like, bye. And even worse, for an entire year, we've been paying for Spectrum Ultra and they didn't even give us the right fucking equipment. That's 12 months of money down the drain. I mean, we deserve some sort of compensation for this shit because this is more than just unfair. It's a fucking ripoff. Like, are they organized at all? Do they even have a file that says, oh, this account number and family or household or whatever has this internet spectrum ultra and this hardware and this hardware and they're paying rent for it each month and they're paying for the internet connection each month and they're just not putting two and two together like oh this modem doesn't even work for that speed what it's just so frustrating we need to make a fucking phone call to them or something because this shit sucks i want either a full fucking refund or a full fucking year of free internet <sighs> Alright, so now that I got that off my chest, sorry for this being a little bit uh, aggressive. <laughs> Let me know if you've ever had trouble like this with an internet company, whether it's Charter, Time Warner Cable, like Frontier, Verizon Files, I don't know. But I've had the absolute worst experience with Charter for the past like 12 fucking years. Everything that I said was absolutely true to a T. I just, I don't know, like, I feel so mistreated, like I was conned. Yeah, I feel like this was like a long con or something. Let me know what you guys think about the situation, if you think that I'm out of line or if you think that they're out of line, let me know in the comments below because I wanna know what other people think outside of the situation. Anyways, thank you so much for watching. If you haven't subscribed already, go ahead and subscribe by clicking right here. Also, if you wanna check out what you missed or check out something new, go ahead and click here or here. I promise next video won't be as rude and the profanity will be very low. Thank you so much for watching, bye.